Right, we're going to do Sen's Fortress. Now, when we first initially unlocked this, I was going to do this, but I weren't strong enough. But now, I actually know where I'm going. I'm not going to say I'm going to do it without dying, obviously. There's always going to be a bit of death. But the bloody rigma it took me to get to this swear, I swear. Right, I went to the ghost town, New Londo Ruins, is it? And I ran, I ran out of um, transient curses, I think it is, or transit curses. And then I went to the woman under the sewers where I normally get it four grand each. And I thought, oh, as long as I can get the four grand in souls, you know, this will never run out. It ran out, so I couldn't get them from it. And the only other place I knew where to get it, if you didn't find it randomly, was from the guy in New Londo Ruins, where um, he's on top of that building. And he sells them for about a grand each. But every time I tried to get to him, because I didn't have a curse spare and because I'd ran out of all the curses, because that's what you do on this, you just die and keep going through it and through it. And because I had no more curses, I had to try to get through it without actually bloody get to the guy without dying. And I had 3,736 points and I just managed to get to the guy on top so I've got three of the curses now if I need them and then lo and behold he didn't give me the key seal which is what I needed to get to the next bit so I was there I was like right I'll the I couldn't figure out how you got to it so I ended up looking it up partly because I don't like ruining it for myself you know but I thought right I need to know where I'm going and it turns out the firelink shrines bloody puffed out so I can't reload there and then it turns out I had to come all the way back to Sen's Fortress. Oh, oh, and I nearly kicked myself because I got right to the top where there's this troll guy throwing rocks in and it spits them out and it's like, boom, you know, it blows up the path you're on. And I got to that bit and I got to this one particular bit you were supposed to get to. But last minute I thought, no, I've still got to get through the ruins. So I came all the way back again and I thought, you bloody idiot. Oh... But we're here now. I know what I'm doing now. I know where I'm going, so it's not too bad. And I've got through this numerous times. I've died numerous times, but I've got through it. So, and the fireplace is right nearby, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue if I die. Die. You bloody hypnotic snake people. I love you. You're still nice. You remind me of Orochimaru in your own weird way. Of Naruto, so I do love you. You are nice in your own way. You're just guarding your home, which is nice. <coughs> right, so just to get to this key seal, just to go exactly the way I'm going. Just be wary of that one up there that fires lightning bolts at you. You see her in a minute. I'm assuming she's a she. I'm assuming she's a she because she's got breasts, but not the way you imagine it. Oh, bagger off! Ah! Die! Oh, come on, really? Come along, come in for me. No, okay. Yeah, just watch out for these traps on the floor. You won't see them once you've set them off because they just fall right into the floor again. But there's one like this just as you come in the gates as well. You probably saw me run over it and basically they are secret arrows you will get shot. He doesn't attack you, but if you can, try to get the boulder to go where he is when you get up. Oh, bagger it when you get up there. I'll, I'll show you that bit in a minute. Hang on. Yeah, just get a bit of a potion. There's a boulder up there that you can push down because it opens up a secret doorway. And you find a magician of sorts when you do it. Or a sorcerer or a wizard or something. It creeps me out when she runs ah, down the stairs like that. It fucking creeps me out like mad. She'll usually die with one hit when you're up to a certain spot. Ah! Bloody hell, you don't usually come that quick! <sighs> oh yeah. 
a boulder comes down this way. Right, yeah, but if you get up there past her, there's a chest at the back with a ring in it. Which reminds me. Switch back, because I was messing around with a few rings as well. Where's the ring guy? Who's wearing? Who's pies? Right. Yeah, slumbering dragon crest. I'm sure you get this in this building but you wear that one you produce absolutely no sound and that's another secret I roll one as well yeah you'll get the boulder coming down here as well just go straight to the bottom avoid that uh, creature there the snake creature don't dilly dally either just come straight down because another boulder comes straight after and eventually if you wait for a bit three boulders will go inside that there so it creates a bit of a path as far as I know there's nothing actually in here you'll probably get the odd one or two items but nothing significant maybe a ring you might get which is useful obviously but it's right at the end there so just take caution when you go for it because you will get hit by a boulder if you're not careful there's a way down there as well but I don't think there's actually anything down there when I look when you come in here, there's a treasure chest, and basically it's a monster, but once you kill it, you do get a good reward, which is another ring. That might be the ring I'm on about, actually. Not the silent ring I've got here, but there's a few rings in here. They're not here now because I've collected them, but I do remember more or less where I got them. Anyway, you go back up, look for the window in the wall. As soon as you wait find it immediately go through it because if you go up a bit more there's some spikes right at the top and you'll get hit you might need the master key for this bit this bit's open but uh, when you get to this bit this bit will be locked but there's a way to go around to it as well so yeah you get to this bit you go down just take caution again because the boulders seem to go where you are but not on this occasion which is good but push the boulder right down to the way we just were then and it'll push it down and when it does it'll smash the wall in down there and before I go any further you go that way to continue on but for now I'll just show you down here because I want to show you this bit yeah i'm still watching out for you yeah so the boulder usually goes into him the one or two boulders that come here and basically there's a wizard or a there's a wizard or a magic person in there it might be in that one actually and i think you, i don't know if you need a master key but i had a master key because that's what i picked at the beginning you know to help me unlock stuff quicker and then there's just one or two more items in these cages. Uh, this, I don't think there's anything down there. I think it's just a drop. I've not tested it, but it's pretty obvious it's a drop. And that's it. That's what's in here. Another person. I'm still trying to get the Firelink Shrine to work, but I think I may have slightly screwed up with that <laughs> unintentionally. I remember getting the firekeeper's soul, but I think I traded it for some flasks without even realising it. And you need it to bring the woman back, and it's a bloody nightmare. I, oh, I didn't realise, you know, until I looked it up how to do it. Because it was stumping me a bit, and I didn't realise. No, we don't got that. Yeah, never try and run up that way unless you're absolutely certain you can get it on time. Run away! Run! Quickly! My little no sounding elf woman tarnished thing. No tarnished, that's Elden Rings, isn't it? So, yeah, that's basically just the rundown of how to do it here, but unless you can kill the serpents in two shots, I wouldn't really recommend coming to this point. And that's the majority of it without potions as well, because otherwise, it, it, this level is a bit of a difficult one. 
part of the game, I should say, actually. That's probably the right way of saying it. Oh, wait, hang on a minute. I think there's something down here, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, the cage area. Cage area. I forgot about that. Yes, yeah, so you need a master key to open that bit. Or you need some sort of key. Any key usually does, just as long as it opens something. This one, there's a trap there. What I'd recommend doing... Walking on, walking off. They only do three hour rolls. Bang, bang, bang. And when you get to this point here... You'll end up getting to this bit. Best advice, run straight through and tuck and roll. So, run... Or just run straight through if you can make it. There's a person here. Boom. That's it. No messing around. I don't know what's down there, but I wouldn't necessarily jump down there as of yet because I'm still trying to get certain stuff done on this. Female at the top. Lizard, bloody lightning woman. Usually dead in one shot, but yeah. I was gonna say I just like killing them because sometimes this they always act like they're in a specific position. You know, like uh, they're not gonna move, and then all of a sudden one of them will just start running after you, and then you're like there because you're not expecting it. You're like, whoa, what the hell? Get away from me! And that's how half your health literally goes down the drain with one or two hits. Right, and this is basically where you've got to get to to get to the new... Look! Wait, wait, wait. Don't go straight out here because there's a sniper one just there. She bloody snipers you with friggin' lightning. Ruins. Well, you can get into the ruins. You just can't... Um... Uh, climb, 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 climb. You can get into the ruins, you just can't get past a certain part of it. And I won't want you wasting all your curses, you know, just to try to get into this particular bit. Because it, it's really, it, it's quite difficult to basically get the curses. And this is an invisible door, by the way. And then when we do this climb up the ladders quickly again which I'm assuming is just I think it's just up really I don't think you have to press any special buttons he's the one that opened the gate <clears throat> when you ring that bell and then the cutscene appears with this giant just watch out for his stomps I don't think he's really got loads of variety with attacks so to speak just a few kicks nothing too extensive so it'll be stomp 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 flipping heck I didn't know he could swing like that you freak sorry you're not a freak you're just condemned to do a particular type of work aren't you there we go three grand oh thank god Right, titanium chunk. I actually think I can upgrade my weapon with that now. Uh, I'm just wondering, can I actually... No, I don't think you can, can you? Oh, bloody hell. I was going to say if I could get over there and bloody just climb over. But, to be fair, I don't know if he actually appears every single time. So, to be fair, it's three grand each and every time. And then if you think you have to go back down to the demon again, you don't. You just come here. <coughs> There's a guy down there, serpent guy, I think. Oh no, there's not, flipping heck. <clears throat> Just come here. And then once you're here, you're back at this point again at the beginning.
I hate you, woman with lightning. coming for you mate if I'm not coming for you I'm coming for your friggin brother whoever the hell it was you annoying little thing <laughs> well you're not little are you I think he is the same giant as before actually now that I think about it not exactly the same giant but you know the one we just faced then? They look to be dressed similar, which is good, because it means there's a good shot I can kill him. Ah, there we go. Bloody hell, mate. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Flippin' heck. I've got an idea. You're up there, you know. No, no. Come on, do an attack and then I'll attack you. Not move until you do one. Ah! Eh. You're a meanie. Meh. Move. Move. Nye. Nye. Really? Really? I hit him then. Nye. Really? Oh, bloody hell. If you're going to start getting funny with stuff like this, I'll start getting funny back. Oh! Oh! Ah! The ammunition just going. That's nice. Yeah, you just gotta take on him and win, basically. Oh! Titanium chunk. Nice. Right, I don't think the other giant will actually throw the boulders in this direction. I don't think, but I don't know either, so... Yeah. Now it says it this way, boss ahead, so I don't know... If, like... Um... I don't know if there's a boss over there too, but either so, we've got two titanium chunk now, so we should be able to upgrade our weapons a bit. Because I think I'm always a little bit funny about upgrading the armour, because I know it helps, but does it really do anything, you know? You know what I mean? It's, it's just, will you get more use out of your weapon being upgraded? Right, just lock on to him. Bloody hell, I have this issue all the time. Right, I think if you just duck straight underneath, it's a bit difficult for him to attack you. I think. Try and aim for the legs, though. <clears throat> no, 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 no. Because sometimes when you jump, you'll just go directly in between his legs and it's a bit annoying, but it happens. Ah, 
Woo! Don't fall off the edge. Right, I'd probably say don't be too far away from him either. Just on the base fish, you will get hit with a whirlwind and you don't want that. Ooh, dodge that. <clears throat> Pig off, you bloody cheat. Woo! Yeah, hit him in the grind. That's the key spot. I'm sorry, I'm usually very nice, but I've been playing this for a while and I want that bloody new Londo ruins thing. <sighs> core of an iron giant. Well, core of an iron golem. You know what? I don't know if anyone's actually done it in the past, but I would absolutely laugh if someone came over to the edge thinking, oh, what's down there? And then fell off, literally, I, I could not. Ooh, 52,500. Now I'm thinking. Should I go back and upgrade? Or... Is it just me or just... <clears throat> I want me experience to stay safe. Also, you'll forgive me if I say you look a little bit evil. I don't mean it in a bad way. Wow. Thumbnail quality. Thank you. <clears throat> Please let there be a fire up here. Enor Lando, I think that is. Good luck. Oh, don't say that. I've got so far. 52,500 points. <laughs> Please, I want a fire pit or something. Just help me. Goody. Okay, <clears throat> well they don't seem to attack you. <clears throat> and if you don't want me to stay, I will leave. I just need something, but I need a fire pit for definite. do that to me right right down I know from what I know I know this is supposed to be a woman of some sort we're looking for but until I get a fireplace I'm, I'm really hesitant about moving because 52,000 <gasps> We did it, people. Oh, we did it, and we get ten flasks. Hmm. 
weirdly, I think the strength will be more helpful. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome I am. to the lost city of Anor Londo. Anor. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Okay. No, because I think this is what I did wrong last time, please. Have I still got that firekeeper soul? <sighs> God, right, I've still got it. Flipping heck. Still got it. How many points have I got? I may as well use these then. Acquire many souls or create a unit. He keeps saying that. I've got the soul of all these things, but I can't with you. Flipping. I don't know how to do the weapon part side of it. Ooh. Okay. Oops. Ten thousand more. Well, I should have that in my inventory. Should. Bloody dung pie. Talk time, people, but gradually. We got to the bit we needed to get to. Now I kind of want to look around here because I don't think, unless you actually attack the knights, I don't think they're actually going to attack you, so to speak. Excuse me. <laughs> That's sparkling water. Any more souls? Right. And I think it was just vitality I was going to upgrade, where it? I did the endurance. Did I? Yeah, thinking about it now, I might upgrade the endurance again. Because vitality is good, don't get me wrong, but stamina, you move around quicker. Okay, I am happy. Looks like a very beautiful place though. <clears throat> it's slightly lonely. I mean, I think we could probably could attack these knights, but I think that'd be a bit disrespectful, considering they're not actually attacking us. Still, 1,500 each, not bad. Okay, now let's see what was in these lovely little chests. Yeah, stay where you are. Twinkle Titanium! Marvellous! Right, Mimi Cry. I think it says, this is what I dealt with. Oh! This is what I dealt with. Really? <clears throat> oh yeah, that was it, that was it. Right, the Mimicry, you're not supposed to open the chest straight away, you're supposed to attack it, and then obviously once you've killed it, then you get what's there. Come on. Nyeh!
Now this one's a bit of a strange one. Easy enough to kill, kind of. Sorry, but you were attacking me when I was trying to open you up. Ooh, crystal. Nice. <sighs> now let's take a look at what's up here. Sorry, I didn't want to attack you outright. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Fudge. I think just when he goes to attack you, well, aside from that attack, it's literally the best time to attack him, so to speak. Because it's like he has to take time, you know, because he's such a big person. Oh, creature, but he has to take time to draw back, and then as he's drawing back, that's probably the best time to attack. It's really quiet here, isn't it? Nice, don't get me wrong, it's peaceful. But it's making me think, is my game broke? Ah, okay. So there's a bit of a boss thing here, maybe? Instead, I only, I only go back again, though. Great Lord's power. Right. Sealed by the Great Lord's power. Okay. Can't just pop in and say hi, then. Hmm. So I think that's an elevator thing that just goes up and down. You know, by itself, no thing. Ha ha. Wonderful. Okay, nothing behind here. Oops. Uh. <clears throat> well, we already took on one of you at the top of the church, didn't we? Admittedly, you were a bit easier to attack up there. Yeah, I'd probably say attack him inside because he can't really move around a lot, so to speak. Plus, he can't really attack a lot, so to speak. He's sort of limited to where he can attack. This is because I spent all that time training in Sen's Fortress and I just never, it never clicked on that portal, you know, to go there sort of thing. Oh, this is good. Where the hell am I supposed to go now? Ah, there we go. I hope.
There we go. Uh... No, right, nothing round here, is there? Oh, yeah, there was actual. No, right, now I'm in my cry. De Oof, demon titanium. I think that's two of them I've got now. Yeah, I don't think you can get time now. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All oh, right, I don't think that was where you were meant to go. What bloody hell are you supposed to go then? I'm just thinking he's supposed to like jump off there onto there or something. Alright, well, I'm not too let down, because at the end of the day, we did basically uncover something new. I'm just going to check up there again. I know there's some more um, fighters there, but obviously we couldn't... Um... Oh, if we gotta go down there. No, no, we haven't gotta go down there. Come on, twirl back down, twirl back down. Thanking you. Twirl back up, twirl back up. No, it doesn't look like there's any secret passages, so to speak. Right, there's nothing up there except for that demon side. <clears throat> no, the uh, portal sealed by the Lord, but there's nothing up there. The Great Lord, sorry. Lord, I think somewhere along those lines. Let's just look around here dead quick, just to make sure we're not missing anything. Because it's got me thinking how we are, aren't we? Oh, there's some chests over there too. So yes, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed so far and I hope it helps when this is on YouTube because obviously like I said I do edit my stuff down to get to the main points. Please consider following if you've not already and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, they're both free and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. So bye and please stay safe.